Hey guys, Matt here from Loon Outdoors, and today we're trying a fun little furled caddis pattern. This is a uh, new hook, Kona BC3 curved hook. It's a uh, 2.8 mil tungsten bead modeled. Vivas 50D for our thread. We'll start by taking some wraps down the body of the hook shank, kind of deep towards where a barb would be normally. Next up, this is some um, Mirage Flash Shabu. It's kind of like an opalized color. It's very reflective. And we're using this for its attractive purposes on this fly. This is kind of a hybrid between a uh, Mike Mercer pattern and a Tim Fox pattern of a pupa and a uh, Twisto Mayfly. So I found this to be super fun. This one's going to be olive, but I tie them in a ton of different colors. So we'll go ahead and wrap that tinsel forward. Uh, just kind of creating a, a good solid body for it. You notice I colored the underneath green. After we coat this up, you'll get a nice green hue passing through that. Next up, we're going to use some flow. And I'm just going to kind of use this to create a solid body uh, throughout the, that section of the fly. We'll cure with the light. Happen to be using the infinity light. Cures stuff up really quick. And next up, this is a sculpting flash fiber. It's kind of like an olive color and it has some flash and it's a very strange material. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a uh, Kind of stiffer than some EP fibers. I have about half a pencil worth going in here. So what I'll do is I just start twisting. You can see there's frayed sections all over the place and for this I'm using the complex twist section of our dubbing spinner. So right there you can see that's the furling. And furled leaders are kind of an older deal, but they're actually still super cool for turning over flies. But it's just turning twisted materials back over itself, creating like a weave. And you can see you get this really cool caddis body. Try to get it to compress just a bit. And I lash that down thoroughly. And I'll coat it with just a little bit of flow again, binding it all together. So it's going to help create a more durable fly. And this is a bigger size. I mean, this is like a size 10. So this is going to be like your hydrosykes and other big bugs, first generation bugs. They get smaller as the year progresses. So good runoff fly, lots of visibility, color flash. A little bit of a peacock black ice dub. And that's going to be our leg segment there. A little bit of ostrich hurl. And I like this. I like using uh, synthetics, but I also love having some uh, some natural stuff on flies a lot of times. So I'm just going to trim the tips and tie those in. And uh, the ostrich that I'm using is just uh, stuff I'm not using for intruders or for other steelhead flies. So you can see you get this kind of cool looking scenario. This is just some mallard flank. Um, I chose olive. Not really sure it actually makes a huge difference what color you use. Um, olive just seemed like a fun option on one of the first ones that I tied and caught some good fish on it. So I continue to use it. And a little bit of uh, peacock black ice to begin. 
for the win. Just gonna go ahead and splay those out a little bit more and try to pin them in place with this next wrap of ice dove. We'll go ahead and whip finish at this point. This is a great fly. I mean, you can swing this, uh, dead drift it, high stick it, whatever you really want to do. It's gonna it's gonna catch fish. Has a good profile. Looks buggy. Um, kind of do a little uh, yard work up top there. Trim it out, and I'm gonna turn my light on first. Cause I don't want to allow the flow to have a ton of time to soak in. Like I don't want it to be 100% disappearing. So quick hit with the light, come back in, do another little coat, creating kind of that uh, transitional head space there. You can see I just turn it over that way. Gravity's working for me, not against me. So there's a little frilled caddis for you. Kind of a fun, simple fly. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you next time.